Hi you guys and welcome to my YouTube channel Cosmic Cheeks. So today I'm going to be talking about the benefits of rice water for your hair and I'm also going to show you how I applied mine. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Hundreds of years ago back in Japan this was in the Heian period the Japanese women practiced using rice water on their hair for growth, but in modern days, women in China, Japan, and Southeast Asia all use this method and tradition. But the women that are really popular and known for it in today's world is the women of the Red Yao tribe. They are located in Hanglo, China. And a rich Yao tribe is sometimes referred to as the land of the Rapunzel's just because of how long the women there grow their hair. And this is all done by using the rice water method. This tradition and method is only supported by anecdotal evidence. It's basically a cultural practice that is only proved by word of mouth. But it's said that using the rice water will strengthen your hair, smooth it, add shine, promote growth, which is the main reason why I want to try it. And another thing is that they say using the rice water prevents your color from leaving your hair and the Yao women hair doesn't turn gray till they're about 80 years old. Rice contains amino acids, B vitamins, vitamin E, minerals, and antioxidants. Making it a good hair mask because the things that are found in the rice are found in good hair vitamins as well. So now I'll go ahead and jump into showing you how I apply my rice water. I used one cup of rice and one cup of water and once it sat, I let mine sit for about a day or so. Um, they recommend that you let it sit anywhere from 12 to 24 hours but the longer the better and, and I used organic rice in distilled water so this is what mine looked like after about 26 or 27 hours and I just removed the froth off the top of mine because I didn't want that to be applied on my hair I gave it a good stir just to get all of those nutrients all moved around and then I went ahead and put it in my spray bottle. I poured the water into a measuring cup just to make it easier to pour in the tiny spout of my water bottle or my spray bottle should I say. And voila, this is what I was left with. All of those hair nutrients. And after that, I was ready to apply. I just started out by separating my hair into four sections just to make it easier to apply and just tack my hair down with a clip or hair tie. Right before I started to apply it, I realized I should probably use a towel. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, it did smell really, really bad. But I would definitely 
go through the smell of this if I could grow my hair quickly and also have all the other benefits like strength, shininess, and smoothness. So if you see me making these ugly faces, it's because this stuff really was not the best smelling and I should have put an essential oil or mixed an essential oil with it just to tone down the, the smell of it. But I'm going to see what it's going to bring me. So next step. And you're going to want to get it as close and as much on your scalp as you possibly can because remember the rice water mixture is helping your hair follicles this smell is awful i recommend that you definitely use an essential oil with this so just spray 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 work it in all the way until you've applied it over your entire head And then I wanted to use as much of it as I could just because when I do make another batch, I'm going to use fresh rice and fresh water. So I didn't want to save any of this. So I heavily saturated my hair with the solution. And it'll have to sit anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I say the longer the better. But you probably want to use like a shower cap or something similar for one to make sure that it processes as best as it can. Just kind of similar when you're doing like a hot oil treatment or some type of hair mask and you'll do the same uh, applying the shower cap. And for two, because it's heavily saturated in this water and that can kind of help hold the water in that was not enough so what i did was basically just put my towel over the shower cap and just tie it up as you would as if you had just shampooed your hair Mm hmm I am ready to grow my own bundles. Yes, ma'am. Now we just wait. And I let the mixture sit on my hair for an entire hour. And guys, this is my hair freshly washed. I wasn't going to use a shampoo, but after that smell, I definitely did use a sulfate free shampoo and I am loving the results. I immediately noticed a difference in my hair. First off, look how easy it is to detangle. Uh, my hair is normally super hard to detangle and I have to do it in super small sections. I also noticed how shiny and how smooth my hair is. And I didn't use any other hair products besides the sulfate free shampoo just because I wanted to see if the rice water would actually work and I am loving the results. It's so soft. I'm going to trim my ends and I will keep you guys updated. I'll probably post a video in about two months, but I'm going to use the rice water treatment on my hair one or two times per week up until then. If you've tried the rice water method before, leave your experience down in the comments. Also, maybe some pointers or tips that can help other people that are just now trying this out. And don't forget to like this video and to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, see ya.